Hello everyone. Welcome to my music theory lesson. This is lesson 9.7, Melodic Composition. In today's lesson, we are going to compose a 4 to 8 measure long melody. You simply need to apply what we have learned throughout this chapter and be creative. Include a motive or a sequence or a period if you want or if the problem asks you to. Also, make sure you include the melodic elements that we learned in the previous lesson. The best way to become fluent with writing a short melody is by practicing. Let's try it on the next slide. Write a 4-bar phrase in the bass clef, 4-4 four, four time, and A major, and include a melodic motive. Sample answer shown. In my answer, the first measure is a motive, which is repeated again exactly in the second measure. The climax is the G-sharp in the second beat of the second measure, the ascent goes from the beginning to the beginning of the second measure, and the descent goes from the end of the second measure to the end. Many of my notes, 12 out of 25, were triad notes, which are A's, C-sharps, and E's. The last three notes of my melody form a 3-2-1 phrase ending. Write two four-bar phrases that form a parallel period in the bass clef, 6-8 time, and C-flat major. Sample answer shown. My two phrases start the same and end differently. The first phrase is an antecedent, and the second phrase is a consequent. So the two phrases form a parallel period, like what the problem asks for. In both phrases, I included many triad notes, C flats, E flats, and G flats. The climax of my first phrase is the second to last note of the fourth measure, and the climax of my second phrase is the last note of the sixth measure. My second phrase also ends with a 3 to 1, which is formed by the third and second to last notes of the seventh measure and the last note. The antecedent of a period will never have a 3 to 1 phrase ending because it does not end with scale degree 1. Conclusion In this lesson, we used what we learned throughout this chapter to compose a short melody. For more practice, please download my Music Theory app. This is the end of Chapter 9, and in Chapter 10, we are going to talk about harmonic composition.